Hi, Kevin here. Welcome back to the kitchen. For a simple supper tonight, we're fixing a meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, and some peas. Now, for the meatloaf, I'm not going to use the traditional ground beef. Instead, I'm going to use Beyond Beef. This is a vegan product. It contains no soy, no gluten, and no GMOs. I've used it many times in the past, and I think it's totally delicious. Here's how I make the meatloaf. Now, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, put three pounds of the Beyond Beef in a large mixing bowl. And I don't remember, did I tell you that this beef does not shrink as it cooks? So that's a very good thing. And I like to make a lot of meatloaf because who doesn't love leftover meatloaf? We love it for sandwiches. And I did make the same meatloaf about a week ago. Mr. Fox and I thought it was divine. And by the way, I just beat two large eggs. But I'm not going to add them just yet. Oh, yes, I will. So add the eggs to the Beyond Meat. And then add, this is one cup worth of ch finely chopped onion, celery, and carrot. In France, that's called mirepoix. You could use just onion if you'd like, or just onion and carrot, or just onion and celery, but I'm using the, the holy trinity of carrots, onion, and celery. And then I'm going to add one cup of seasoned dry breadcrumbs. These happen to be gluten-free, and this is the brand I'm using. In you go. And then, it, even though the breadcrumbs are seasoned, I am going to add some garlic powder. Oh, about a teaspoon or so. And I'm adding the garlic powder because I really like it. I also really like onion powder, even though there's a lot of onion in here already. Again, about a teaspoon. You could add some Worcestershire sauce to this if you'd like. And that's it. And then hang on because we have to roll up the sleeves. And I am going to use food prep gloves so that my hands will be clean when I go to cut off the camera. By the way, I am using a new camera. I'm also using a wireless microphone today. And I'm using that microphone because, well, several people said they can't hear me in the videos that I film with the camcorder. And as much as I love, that was my oven telling me it has achieved 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So the reason I'm using the, uh, uh, wireless microphone is, and the reason I'm using the new camera is because the camcorder, which I really love, it's a Sony camcorder. I've filmed, I don't know, a hundred videos with that camcorder, but it does not have a microphone input. So the audio is never, it's never really great. It's just that that camcorder is so easy to use. Anyway, I'm going to finish mixing this with my hands and then I'll come back. Oh, and something else I wanted to mention. You don't actually have to add vegetables to Beyond Beef because it, it stays moist when it cooks. It also holds its shape as it cooks. So you probably don't even have to add egg. I added egg just for extra richness. 
And if you want to make this meatloaf entirely vegan, well, you would just substitute whatever vegans use as egg substitute. I think it's flax egg. It's ground flax seed mixed with water, I think. I've never tried it. Okay, we are looking good here. Of course, I'm spilling some of this because my bowl isn't quite large enough for this mass quantity of Beyond Beef meatloaf. Now, pick up a little bits over here. And yes, my workstation is very clean. I clean it thoroughly before I film videos, or before I cook, anyway. So now you need a nine inch loaf pan. And I did grease this with some nonstick vegetable spray. So now in goes the loaf. I probably should have left those food gloves on, but, or food prep gloves on my hands, but too late now. And then you pack this in. There. Oh, it's a gorgeous looking loaf. You can see the carrots and the onions and the celery in here. And then hang on, I have to grab my topping. All right, so my topping is tomato paste, a six ounce can. I'm going to use all of it. Now I know a lot of people will put just regular ketchup as a, on top of their meat loaves but I prefer the concentrated sweetness of tomato paste. I'm going to use my offset spatula to just spread this out. Now, if my mother were making this meatloaf, she would top it with ketchup and several strips of bacon. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the tomato paste. All right. And then this goes into the 375 degree oven until the internal temperature of the loaf reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going to, pay, to take about an hour and 15 or one hour and 20 minutes. So we'll come back. Meantime, I'm going to whip up the mashed potatoes and prepare the peas. Oh, I forgot to tell you, put the meatloaf on a baking sheet before you pop it in the oven, just in case there's any spillover. Okay, I'll see you soon. All right, here's the meatloaf, or maybe I should call it the Beyond Beef Loaf, fresh out of the oven. And here are the mashed potatoes. And I actually put the peas in the potatoes. I'm going to pour a glass of wine and plate this up and then I'll come right back. Oh, I wish you could join me for dinner tonight. Here's the meatloaf. Here are the mashed potatoes with peas. Here's the wine. It's actually a claret. And now for a taste. I actually forgot that Mr. Fox has tennis tonight. Too bad for him, but he'll have leftovers. I want to try this meatloaf. This is every bit as wonderful as it was the first time I made it. And the interesting thing about the Beyond Meat is that it forms this slight crust as it cooks. So you get this little crunch uh, beneath the layer of tomato paste. Really wonderful. So I'm going to enjoy this meal. Again, I wish you were here to share the dinner with me. And I will see you next time with another recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.